I'm back from Houston so we can continue some of the discussions we started before Nabil's funeral. I've been skimming through the comments sections of the videos I posted to see what topics need to be addressed, and lots of people have been posting comments about how Nabil's life or death or his life and death impacted them. And it's very interesting to see the different ways he affected people. So I thought it would be nice to go through some of these brief testimonies. Again, these are just some of the comments that were posted on my page. I haven't gone through all of them, and there are many more on RZIM's page and Nabil's page. Many of the comments I've seen, maybe hundreds of them, were from people who said that even though they never met Nabil, they still feel like they knew him, like he was their friend. That's one cool outcome of Nabil sharing his life story and then vlogging his journey with cancer. Let's go through some of the other comments. Some of them are long, so I may just read portions. Nabil's testimony and videos helped me to discover the truth in Jesus, who is the Lord. Rest in peace, Nabil. I pray for you. Abdullah, I know you come from a background where you prayed for Muhammad as if Muhammad's well-being depended on your prayers. But trust me on this one, you no longer need to pray for Nabil. Pray for his continued impact. Pray for his wife and daughter. Pray for his parents and sister. Nabil's just fine. I can't stop watching his vlogs. He reignited a passion in me I thought was dead. There is so much to do, so little time. God give us strength. I hate cancer like never before. That makes two of us. You're totally a great man of God. You and Nabil, brother, have been my total inspiration to learn apologetics and defend Christianity. Glad we could help. Check out 1 Peter 3.15 for some additional inspiration. The world is so much poorer for losing Nabil. He taught me so much, and it's awesome his videos are available. You taught me so much, Nabil Qureshi. You are with Jesus Christ. Nabil's life and death have inspired me to learn religion in general from an intellectual position in order to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Before I used to be timid, now I am a lion for Christ. Nabil's death was certainly not in vain. I am so sad to hear of Nabil's death. It is you on the Acts 17 channel who brought me closer to God. I was an atheist before, and now I'm a Christian. I remember his earlier videos and his debates. He is a great man, and I thank God for him. Thank you. May I offer my condolences to his family. We love you, Nabil. Miss your presence, but hope you have done well in this world and finished the race. And now you're in the presence of God, rejoicing and glorifying God, what you have done and saved many souls from death and led to eternal life. I myself was saved through your message. Nabil's death was a wake-up call for me. I wanted Nabil to live a long life preaching the gospel and was really upset these past couple of days. I now know I need to align myself better with God's will and trust in Him better. My faith is strengthened and I hope other people with this problem realize what I've realized and rejoice that God found use with Nabil. He was so pleased with Nabil that he raised him early. That's something to celebrate for Nabil. He served our Lord well. God's timing is perfect. I am an atheist, but admired his humanity. May he rest in peace forever. Great message, God bless. Been praying for Brother Nabil night before the loss. I saw him in my dream, standing in front of me. Told me it just feels like a tickle when the spirit comes out of body. He was smiling, turned and dived in a sea, swam towards light until he disappeared in the light. Two days after, I heard the news that he is with the Lord. I discovered Nabil about two or three years ago on a video promoting his first book. I'll admit, as a public servant that works in security, my animosity against Muslims had gotten the better of me. I had little more than contempt for them. Nabil shamed me into contrition. Here was a man that had personally dealt with more than I could imagine for his conversion, and he still had a heart for Muslims. I looked for more on him and his friend David from the book and discovered this channel. 
In these three years, I have learned much and share these videos with everyone I know. I now make it a point to befriend and talk to people of all and no faiths due to his example. Thanks, David, and rest in peace, Nabil. I'll miss you, brother. David, I'm very sorry for your loss. Nabil was the one who got me interested in apologetics. I wonder how are Luke and Blaze taking the news? Luke and Blaze are fine. Nabil's vlogs touched my heart deeply and changed my life forever. Never would I have dreamed that I could feel so much sadness from the loss of someone I have never met. I am eternally grateful for the beautiful life and testimony of Nabil. His example has forever touched and changed me as a person. God is good and worthy of praise, should he choose to heal or not. Rest in peace, dear brother in Christ. Continued prayers for his dear family. Thank you, David, for your love of the Muslims. I read Nabil's book, Seeking Allah, Finding Jesus, in Swedish, my native language, and it made me understand the Muslims a lot more and gave me a love for the Muslims. I'm an author myself, and I've found Nabil's book to be an inspiration. Once again, thank you for your work. Nabil passing away has been one thing that has truly affected me. He was the nicest man, and he did not deserve to suffer like that. I'm an atheist and don't like any religions anymore, but I love Nabil, and the world is a little bit darker without him. He will certainly be missed and remembered. God bless you, David. Good job. You and Nabil have impacted my life through your testimonies, and your videos helped me in the discussion with my Muslim boss. I heard the testimony of Nabil first before I started listening to the teachings of David. You both have blessed my life greatly, never to be the same. I'm smiling because I know our father has already addressed Nabil with, job well done. You and Nabil have both helped in my journey to the Lord and in strengthening my faith and learning more about the enemy. I pray for the comfort for all who will miss this great man of God. I can only hope and pray to have faith as strong as Nabil's one day soon. Brother Nabil, I love you so much. God has spoken through you and touched many souls, experiencing the love of God beyond comprehension. I have learned not to hate but love and forgive. It's so important to share this unconditional love of God. Thank you, brother. I know you are with the Lord. I will continue to share God's love. You have inspired me so much. Thank you, Brother Nabil and Brother David, so much. God bless you in everything you do. Amen. David, I just want to offer my condolences on the loss of Nabil. You both helped me come to Jesus in ways you'll never know. So I just wanted to say thank you and let you know my prayers and thoughts are with you and Nabil's family through this difficult time. Thank you, Nabil. In my time of spiritual crisis, seeking Allah, finding Jesus helped bring me to the one true God. God chose you for a reason. Thanks for this awesome video. We thank the Lord for the life of Nabil and all he taught us. When I first got saved, I read his book, Seeking Allah, Finding Jesus, and it strengthened my faith and education on apologetics. Can't say I'd be saved if it wasn't for his ministry. Nabil helped me regain perspective on Muslims. I believe his life will continue bearing fruit. Two weeks ago, at least, I had a dream I was driving with David. He was weeping because someone very close to him had died. This dream was completely random, and I haven't watched this channel in months. This is the first video I've clicked on. Rest in peace, Nabil. I don't know you personally, David, but I know that you are my brother in Christ. I've watched all your videos and Nabil's videos. Both of your testimonies have impacted my life, and one day we will see each other in heaven. Thank you, Nabil and David. Thank you for uploading. Nabil has changed my life, and his videos and yours will continue to open the minds of people around the world. David, thank you so much for sharing. I'm watching this again after seeing it live yesterday. What a tremendous blessing you and Nabil have been. I am way older than you guys and been a Christian since my teen years, but I am still inspired today by you both. Because of both of you, I am investigating Islam myself, and needless to say, it's not looking good for Islam. His book changed how I viewed Jesus Christ. I saw how my Latter-day Saints teachings compared to Muslim teachings about the Bible. I saw how Nabil came to Christ. I saw how he overcame all of his opposition to biblical Christianity, and it helped me tremendously. 
I have accepted Christ as my Savior in the traditional Christian way. I am grateful for his book, his thinking, his life. Thank you. I have recently been born again after growing up in religion and not knowing God. About a year ago, I found you, Nabil, on YouTube, and you are a part of my reason to come home and seek him. David, you are the slow blade that penetrates the shield. You alerted me, an agnostic, to the dangers of Islam, and Nabil finished the job and brought me to Jesus. How that happened is a miracle I won't go into here, but thank you for your steadfast defense against the hypocrites who denigrate Nabil. You both have my thanks. May the Lord accept Nabil into glory, for Jesus is King and Lord. He is and will live on as an amazing man of God. He helped save my wife from Islam, and David, we grieve with you. Kiss, kiss, God bless. Nabil's death has brought me back to Christ. It almost feels wrong liking the video of a funeral. Cannot wait to see Nabil in heaven. His ministry helped me to lead my wife out of Mormonism and into a relationship with Jesus Christ. I love that God has provided us with men as intellectual and well-spoken as Nabil. You'll be greatly missed in this household. You know, although I've watched Nabil Qureshi Ministries and Act 17 Apologetics over the last several years, I've learned more about Nabil Qureshi since September 16, 2017 than ever before. Thank you for standing up for Nabil. My husband left Islam for Christ. Nabil going home to Jesus strengthened my husband's faith because of Nabil's strength in his faith during his illness. We love you, David. We loved Nabil. I never met Nabil, but I feel his loss strongly. I've been spending the past several years of my life seeking deeper spiritual truths as a Christian while also studying Islam and have watched plenty, nearly all, of the videos of our two brothers, Nabil and David. I learned a lot from them and have used what I learned to help others who are Muslim come out of Islam over the years. It feels so strange that Nabil is not in this world anymore. I miss him a lot, even though we've never met. Knowing he was out there getting the job done was a comfort to my mind and heart. I felt glad to be a small, distant part of the extended task force, that brotherhood spreading the gospel and exposing darkness. It is a strange feeling indeed that he is not here with us bodily any longer. It came so fast. He was just kicking down all the doors of people's hearts and minds in a manner I have not seen any other apologist able to. Not to discount our good man David by any means or measure, it's like one was the left hand, the other was the right hand, each having its intended role, purpose, and necessity with perfect ambidexterity. Then, all of a sudden, on a single day, stage four stomach cancer, a relentless one that left no quarter. I see a lot of people bashing Nabil and saying, thinking all sorts of things that disparage him from both Muslims and people who call themselves Christians. The way I see it is that Nabil was destroying, in a matter of a few years, what took Satan well over a thousand years to develop. I can watch hours upon hours of debate from Muslim apologists, then just one five-minute video clip of Nabil on an RZIM tour, and it's like night and day. Make that a night in the middle of a dense northern forest with no moon and the thickest of overcasts. For me, it is quite clear he was a targeted individual by the spiritual forces of darkness that rule this world, kind of like how Job Ayub was. When I look at my life and how I have lived it the past few years in comparison, I feel ashamed and a rather useless servant. I understand well the impact Nabil's life and death has made in my life, even as the distant onlooker that I am. I feel now we all need to get more serious than ever about what we are doing with our time and life and not waste another day building ourselves up in spirit and truth while seeking every chance to put in our labor for the gospel by applying it progressively in our own lives and helping others do the same. If I am able to feel his loss this strongly, I can only imagine how it must feel for those who are closest to him. God bless you, David, and your family. I pray for Nabil's beautiful family to come to recognize the stark contrast between the light of the gospel that poured forth from Nabil's latter years in life versus the dark emptiness of the dead, lifeless religion that is Islam. I also pray for Michelle and Aya, and that Aya can remember strongly the moments she had together with Nabil and carry them vividly in her heart 
as she grows to become an aspiring child of God. It was Nabil who gave me hope that it is possible to minister to Muslims. I am presently at a low point in my Christian and secular life, but with God's grace He is helping and guiding me in reassessing my life here in this world. Oftentimes we each all cry out how each of us are saddest among the saddest and lowliest among the lowliest, how much we suffered more than other brethren or unbelievers, how much we feel unloved or forsaken because of our afflictions and day-to-day -day struggles and toils. That is how I've been feeling lately until I chanced upon a video showing Nabil sick and dying, and then this, a video of his funeral. After listening to the speeches and Ravi Zacharias' eulogy and sermon, how utterly ashamed I have become judging my stead as the worst afflicted, though I had not even devoted so much years and time and effort to the Lord's work like Nabil, and with tears in my eyes I began realizing my error and feeling sorry for myself. Here was a man who so fearlessly worked for the Lord despite scorns and scoffs from every side, even from those who claimed to be born-again brethren. And for that, how I ought to be ashamed before the Lord who has so graciously provided all my needs with his own hand, yet complained of afflictions when Nabil never even did. In all honesty, Nabil's passing away has become an eye-opener, a mild slap in the face to wake me up, a slumbering Christian that I have become. I have no words I can offer to the dear brethren who are directly affected by his departure from this world, but I have only one thought. Nabil has gone home ahead of us after he worked the good work and fought the good fight for his faith. I can just hear the Lord telling him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. You shall surely be missed bodily here on earth, Nabil, but you've already won your victory. It's time now for others to also win that victory. See you in the pearly gates, brother. Nabil's death has made me realize for the first time I will truly die in the flesh, and I will now live my life for the Lord as Nabil did, and realize how much Jesus did for me and those he saves. David, I'm so sad over Nabil's death, I wish I could have met him. I also want to be saved, but I'm having a hard time. Please pray for me in that, and I will pray for Nabil's little girl and his wife, who must be devastated. If you want to be saved, there's a link to a video in the description box. It's called, What is the Gospel? Check it out. Nabil was instrumental in my conversion from Islam to atheism. God rest his soul if he is up there. Well, since you're saying God rest his soul if he's up there, it sounds like you're an agnostic rather than an atheist. There's a link to some videos on the existence of God in the description box to help you... Make up your mind. I lost my faith in 2015 after reading the historical Jesus. This journey in the wilderness lasted a few days. It was hands down the worst time in my life. I went searching for reasons to believe. I looked at Islam on YouTube and found Nabil. His words were a blessing, and from him I found you. You are a blessing. We all feel the loss of Nabil, but I know it is more keenly felt by those who knew him personally. Be strong. Keep doing what our God puts us on earth to do. Side note, I understand you are a clinical psychopath, and from watching some of your other videos, I am curious to know how you feel about your friend's death. Lots of people are curious about that. I'll probably address it in a separate video. I hate for those who remain such as me. It is repentance, repentance, because I didn't believe in Nabil's true Christianity. I was wrong how I was wrong. Pardon me, my brother, who's now in heaven. I began to watch loads of Nabil's videos last winter in a cold coffee shop, and he taught me so much. Although he's gone too soon, his education will help us in our teachings. God bless you. Nabil did not die in vain. He has changed many lives, including mine. My prayers go out to his family. Well, David, I prayed for Nabil to get better, and when he was not, I left some Bible passages I even got mad at some of the comments that were left by people claiming to be Muslim. I prayed for them as well as I prayed for his parents and his wife and daughter, and I forgot to pray for you. Between you and Nabil Qureshi, you put me back on the road to following Jesus Christ, the one and true Savior. Though I wasn't a Muslim and never met you nor Nabil, you guys have made a remarkable impact on my life. 
I've never in my life seen anyone who had such a faith as Dr. Nabil in his knowing his mortal life was ending. He was still proclaiming the love of our Lord and his power to heal or to call him home. Hi there, I started hearing from Nabil in Taiwan and watched many of his videos since I have made a good Muslim friend too. I have certainly learned a lot, but I think the best takeaway was your guy's friendship. I imagine, David, that there must have been times where you felt like he's heard everything, but still... Yet you pulled through the genuine friendship you guys had, and that inspires me to not give up. I am an agnostic and could perhaps be called an anti-theist, but I have been following Nabil and David for many years. I was shocked when I heard the message of Nabil's passing, as I thought he was recovering. Even though I disagree with the worldview of most watching this channel, and I have often given harsh and long arguments against the epistemological claims of Christianity, I do support you because I would rather live in a world full of Nabil's and David's than Muhammad's. I don't know where Nabil is now. For some, that might seem insulting or hurtful, but it's not how I mean it. I hope that he has found the peace and love he was promoting, because if someone deserves to find that peace, it's him. We all need to aspire to be more like him, especially regarding his last message. Seek the truth in love. That is a statement I can agree with for sure. Rest in peace, Nabil. I'm starting to think that I may need to make more videos on atheism. Thank you, David, and your friend. I was stuck in defeat about Muhammad is in the Old Testament and prophetic. You, Sam, and your friend gave me the answers I needed. My faith was wavering, thank you. I know great awards are for Nabil in New Jerusalem. That great city will come down soon and you'll be with your friend again. I had a desire to meet Dr. Nabil in person, and I have faith my Lord God is going to fulfill it. Meet you in the glory of our Lord Jesus. You will be missed in this world. Dr. Nabil's testimony is one of the reasons I came back to our Lord. Love you, bro. See you all well in eternal life. In Jesus' name, amen. So, we've only gone through a fraction of the comments posted on my videos about Nabil over the past few days, and we can see that Nabil had a ministry not only to Muslims, but also to atheists, agnostics, Mormons, and Christians. That impact on diverse groups is part of the reason he'll be so sorely missed. Tomorrow, we'll look at some Muslim responses to Nabil's death. I posted a few brief Muslim responses in an earlier video, and then I received a number of messages saying, David, why are you paying attention to a few angry Muslims? To which I reply, just because I only posted a few doesn't mean I only received a few. If you'd like a glimpse of what it's like to do the work that Nabil did and the work that I do, put your safety helmets on and buckle up, because tomorrow is going to be a wild ride through a sewer of human depravity and an epic display of Christian love. See you then.